Hello. Hi everyone. My name is Ifoma Samuel. If you're new around here, you're welcome to my channel. What we do mostly here is word, Bible study, fellowship, devotionals, and every other thing to help you, okay, encourage you in your faith work. All right. So I'm the girl behind the channel. <laughs> wow. Okay. So you're welcome. It's um, a beautiful evening over here. It's kind of wet. Uh, wet evening. Uh, basically, what day today? Um, I saw my daughter walking on this uh, piece. I decided to snag, snag it. <laughs> okay. And um, she, she, uh, she's learning. Actually, she's learning. Um, then I was worried actually for for this. This. Uh, this little thing here, this diffuser, had uh, did some kind of mess. I, I, I didn't know it was that strong. Okay, it kind of damaged uh, the wooden, the wooden, uh, wooden uh, framework, one of the wooden pieces here in the living room. And uh, we've been using this, the tissue. Okay, uh, my, my son has been, uh, our son has been working, uh, kind of protecting it with the, with the tissue. So I, I thought to myself, since I am kind of less busy today. It would be a good idea to do something, okay, uh, some form of like a pad to protect the the pieces, right? So it to stay this way, right? I'm I'm still working on it, okay. As you can see, it's not completely closed closed up yet. Uh, I'm still working on it. It's uh, let me just put this over here, okay. So still working on it. Waiting for maybe after this video, perhaps after this video, has one more line to go, one more um, set of stitches to go this this way. All right, so I'll keep that aside and go straight into today's discussion. So I welcome you officially to the book of Proverbs. Yes, a fantastic idea by my friend Ingrid from the Ingrid Chronicles. Um, she is the host of this fantastic collaboration. I call it fantastic because we're a baby of ladies who love the Lord and who enjoy, okay, sharing the gospel with women just like us, okay, and families and, um, yeah, families basically, <laughs> just like us all over the world who enjoy the word, all right, who want to um, have that encouragement, have a place to go when and have favorite topics, okay, from womanhood to... Uh, to um, face to homeschooling these women do a lot okay they do a lot and um, as a busy mom uh, I work and I study at the same time and I, of course take care of the home so I decided to join this collaboration hosted by Ingrid because women um, have women are in different different uh, phases of life okay generally we have different seasons um, so that some person listen to me right now who would probably relate to okay this is where i am right now you probably relate to uh, my story or relate to other women in this collabo you would find encouragement that's the whole idea for you to find encouragement and draw um deep on god's word all right so i'll be taking proverbs chapter three hold on i'm not taking everything all right so i had the privilege to share with my kids this morning we did um we did quite a number, plus some R, uh, just studying through the verses one after time, one at a time, and um, I would lean closely on a few verses that that really got to my heart. So I encourage you to grab your Bibles, okay, and let's dig into Proverbs chapter th um, chapter three. Now, um, how this collab is supposed to run? Actually, I must I must let you know. You will find the link to the playlist. So you every day throughout this month of July, you will find. A fun new video from um, the women, all right? You find a new video from, from the women, and they have a scheduled date. You see all that in the des description box, okay? Um, yeah, straight away. <laughs> so feel free to click subscribe, okay? Like the videos, share, share your comments, and what God has showed you from the word, okay? And what lessons you've drawn. Okay, uh, let's see. I want to lean more on um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 18. What does it say? Um, before now, prior to this verse, it was talking about wisdom. Now, the book of Proverbs has a lot to do with wisdom. It, back to back, it has to do with wisdom. And I love, I love this. I love the book of Proverbs. And I, I, I told my kids that we'll probably do the book of Proverbs um, 
31 days okay during during um, their own uh, summer it's not summer break exactly here we're approaching maybe a few a few weeks away uh, most schools will be shut down or will be um, closed for summer somewhere around august so we'll be home and we'll probably do this together i was i was telling my kids this morning because the book of proverbs is rich every day you're faced with decisions you're faced with um, real life situation and that's where your faith comes in that's where you apply you apply um, your heart to wisdom all right so in the book of um, proverbs chapter 3 verse 18 it says she is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her okay and happy is everyone that retaineth her i love the fact that wisdom is referred to as a woman okay <laughs> it is so easy to connect with her because it is referenced or she is referenced as a woman wisdom is a tree of life <coughs> excuse me now the last place where we uh, one of the places where we i'm quick to remember the tree of life is in the book of genesis and where adam and eve had that time to decide if they'll go for the tree of life or for the tree of the knowledge of good and evil <laughs> now wisdom is the tree of life now just write that down just as i did in my own journal write that down and then you go over to um verse 21 it says my son let not them depart from thy eyes that is talking about the word of god and wisdom let them not depart from your eyes keep sound wisdom and discretion again write that down keep sound wisdom and discretion okay um the last verse I want to discuss with us quickly is verse um, 22. It says, So shall they be life unto thy soul and grace unto thy neck. All right. So let's, let's take a, a moment to just allow that to sink in. Keep sound wisdom. Okay. So it's not about, as I said earlier, you, you're faced with everyday decision. You have to make spontaneous decisions sometimes you have to make sound judgment about situations about people about what you're going you have to process your your, your um process the information you, you you're receiving and if you are in a country that is quite unstable or you are um in a in a, a, an emotional or a health situation or a family situation you need sound wisdom all right you need sound wisdom in and out of situations um life to your soul I love that word. That's, that's, um, uh, that's the tree of life. That's 18. It says, um, okay, hold on, please. Sorry, in verse 22, it says, so shall they be life to your soul. Everything about the scripture, everything about God has to do with life. And not just life for today, not just be us being alive here, having everything kind of working together, which, believe you me, sometimes they hardly fall in place. But it's about life in the soul there's there's more to life there is more to what we see and we need wisdom we need a lot of it we need to always remember constantly remember that um uh, god is not just for now like we having god we having our faith it's not just for now it's about eternal hope it's about eternal life all right now those three um, phrases touched my heart as, as a mom, I have to make decisions. As a wife, I have to make decisions. As, um, as a daughter, okay, I have to also make decisions. As a sister, as a friend, you have to make decisions day in, day out. We need sound wisdom and sound discretion. And that, that's something that I prayed for today. I, I, and I encourage you to pray about it. Pray about having sound wisdom. Pray about having sound discretion. It's, discretion has to do with making sound decisions, actually. And wisdom have, ha, has a lot to do with knowing what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. So wisdom has to do with knowing what to do. A lot of us are faced with situations, and we don't know how to get out of that situation. We, we, we need the wisdom of God. We need, we need all of God, all of God in our hearts. We need God telling us what to do. We need the wisdom of God to guide us through. Now, the Bible says the word of God is a lamp unto our feet. Okay, it talks about when the sea of life or when the challenges of life kind of becloud us with darkness the word of god is light it illuminates our path all right so the wisdom from god's word helps us make the right decisions helps us ex escape from confusion now i wrote something down here 
as a mom, as a woman, uh, as a family person, sometimes, all right, we let emotions, we let um, overwhelm, we let the fear of what is going on around us, we let the burden, okay, that is already in our heart, um, we let worry, we let um, anxiety, anxiety dictate our decisions, okay? And believe you me, when your decisions are dictated by all of those things and not of um, and not based on sound wisdom from god or not based on discretion it is going to be really faulty when your decisions are based on all the things going around you, you're going to have faulty decisions basically all right so it's an encouragement for us to lean and press in on the holy spirit to help us make sound decision help us make um, sound discretion as well Remember what the book of um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7 says. It, said, it says, be not wise in your own eyes. Okay, Don't think you are wise. Don't think that you are, you've have arrived. Sometimes, uh, shall I say, uh, many times when you're unsure of what to do, take a step back, relax, and ask the, ho- and ask the Holy Spirit to help you. All right? I do that sometimes. Of course, we're human. Sometimes we fail. Sometimes we flutter. But it's a good encouragement. It's a good thing for me and for you to always remember that God, we can always go back to God, okay? We can always come back, to, you know, fall flat at his feet and let his grace wash over our souls, okay? Um, sometimes, even when you are pretty sure that you're right, okay? Even when you ha- you're faced with uh, confrontations with others and, and, and you... We always have that, okay? There are always going to be disagreements. There are always going to be um, some form of confusion and unsure, um, uncertainty and all that. When you're pretty sure that you're sure about what you want to do, others may not be in agreement, all right? It's okay if they are not in agreement. They're probably not in the same place where you are right now. You must always remember that your guiding, okay, your, your, your compass in life, your guiding, uh, uh, your beacon in life, your guide should be his, the word, should be sound wisdom, from god's word all right so um let me know what are your favorite verses from the book of proverbs chapter 3 all right and i want you to share in the comments if any of this discussion got to you okay touched your heart in any way let me know okay god bless you thank you for listening and i pray that god um infuses his word in your heart And I pray that the word stays, okay, and grows and bears fruit in your heart. And I pray that God's wisdom guides you. So perhaps you're in the middle of a decision. Ask the Lord to help you make sound decisions, okay? God bless you. Bye.